You know, right now we're with the Anaheim Ducks, and we're working with them this year as well. And we're here at the rinks in Irvine, and so uh, you know, a lot of hockey cats got some gnarly, gnarly facial hair. So it's kind of hand in hand with that, and it's men's and it's sports. And that goes hand in hand, and it's all for raising men's health awareness. Well, it's just a great opportunity for the community and for the rinks and the Anaheim Ducks. Um, you know, using our existing relationship that we had with Movember, the rinks decided to do a, a tournament, and specifically a charity tournament that would benefit men's health. So, you know, having the Orange County Movember Network out here, all these guys, um, Dub Stash Wax, you know, putting on the beard and mustache competition for us. You know, it's really great. It's just a phenomenal opportunity to give back to a great cause as well as getting some new bodies in our buildings that, you know, otherwise may not have come through. We're really here to just help the teams build. We're help the teams with their special events, help the teams show them uh, creative ways to do fundraising and really get a part of the community. It's really about men's health, mental health, uh, prostate cancer research, of course, and all that. Uh, but it's really about that there's not a really a lot of men's charities out there that really focus on men, you know, and, and getting them healthy, getting them to the doctor, getting them, you know, to know a little bit more about themselves. Movember really tries to bring that awareness to you. And we raise, we raise funds for the prostate cancer resource, but also mental health, which has been really well. So, you know, we've seen everything from pencil thin mustaches, big chops, handlebars to guys that, you know, grow big beards that I don't even know if they have a name for it. Um, it's just a great atmosphere. It's really cool. A lot of energy in here tonight and you can really feel it. Right now I've got about four years of growth on my beard and maybe a year and a half on my mustache. The only time I trim it is when it gets too close to the chainsaw and that doesn't happen very often, so try to keep it that way. The message, you know, put simply is men's health is a priority for us and make it a priority for yourself.